everyone! Since it's also pandemic and a lot of people need warmth in their soul max, um, I decided to make this recipe for all of you because it's something that I crave for or it's something I'm sure a lot of you crave for when you have those days that you just need that extra warmth. And what I'm talking about is cinnamon rolls. But this time, we're taking out the cinnamon and we're adding chocolate instead. So we will name it maybe gooey chocolate rolls. And of course, this is uh, made possible by our friends here in Bakersfield. So we'll be using some of the products they sent me, which I also use regularly for my line of products here at Forget Me Not Specialty Cakes Vlogging. Our recipe consists of three parts, the dough, um, the filling, and the glaze, okay? So the first part will be using these two Bakersfield products, and that is the Bakersfield Premium Cocoa Powder, which I swear by. It's really, really good. It's premium and co uh, color, quality, flavor, and everything. And then, um, we're going to use this uh, Mocha Flavor Ring. Um, this is really good, um, not just for this recipe, but of course, when you'd make your chiffon cake or mamon or mocha, anything that you want mocha flavor, this is very good. You don't have to use your instant coffee powder anymore. Okay, so we'll start. Ready? We'll start. Okay, so first step, we're going to, uh, no, we're going to melt our butter. With milk. milk. You can use any kind of milk, evaporated milk, full cream milk. If you're feeling generous, you can even use cream. So we'll start this. Of course, you put it in the lowest setting. Because milk burns easily. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're going to melt the butter here with the milk. Then next, we're going to add in the sugar. We're using washed sugar today, but if you want it stickier or if you want it sweeter, you can use a darker shade of brown sugar. Because there is talaga parang darkish red na brown sugar that gives a stickier product and a sweeter one. Okay. Melt. Okay. We'll put this in a bowl. So we'll pour this in. Okay. We, the reason why we poured it in another bowl is to cool it faster. Um, we have to cool the we have to cool this mixture to room temperature because we're going to add yeast um, in a while. And we know, well, I know, and I'm telling you guys that if you add yeast to a really really hot mixture, the yeast will die, mapapasu siya, tumamatay. So that's why we're cooling this to room temperature muna. We add in our sugar, our washed sugar. Then we add in our mocha flavoring. Okay, um, if you don't feel like having mocha, um, you can just add normal vanilla flavored flavoring. The reason why I want to add mocha is because mocha really goes well with chocolate. So yeah, parang cafe mocha. Reminds me of all the chiffon cakes I used to have during my birthdays ng bata pa ako. Huwag yun, I compute kung ilang years ago na yun, but, ah, uh, yun. The smell is really, talagang amoy na amoy mocha cake. Okay, we're going to use our mixer now. If you don't have a mixer, you can just do this, the next steps by hand in a big bowl. But if you have a mixer, I suggest to use it para mas consistent yung so, we're going to add all our dry ingredients in 
our mixer. So we have our flour, 650 grams of all-purpose flour. We're going to add our salt. And our instant yeast. Instant yeast we're using 4 grams now. Okay, so we will start this. So we're going to add in now the mixture we prepared kanina with the milk, butter, now with sugar and mocha flavoring. Okay? You're supposed to put in the palada ano rin? The cocoa powder when you're drying. Oh, ano, ano. Our premium quality Bakersfield cocoa powder. How can we forget? Okay. When it's fully mixed together, Na evenly distributed na yung cocoa powder. We're going to start pouring in our mixture, the butter and milk mixture, gradually. It should look like this. Uh, we'll just increase the speed a bit. Okay. So it's a bit on the soft side, no? it's because it's a rich kind of dough, meaning my fat, because the rich dough either my fat or my um, eggs, so it's really supposed to be sticky and somewhat soft, the dough. So yeah. We're just waiting for it to at least create the size of your bowl, and then we'll be testing it to see if it's ready. I'll show you how to test it in a while. Take it out from our mixer and scrape it. And we make this rise for about one and a half hours. We'll cover it and we'll cover it with a dish towel, a clean dish towel, and then we will make it rise for one and a half hours. Um, the room tap should be at least 70 degrees. Para wag masyadong malamig ang room. Obviously, no, not aircon. Um, it can be quite challenging when it's rainy season because the temperature is medyo malamig. Um, so let's put it in the warmest place possible. Okay? So there. Okay. okay. While we're waiting for our dough to rise, Let's do our part, which is our filling. So, the, the traditional filling is uh, a mixture of brown sugar and cinnamon, and then softened butter. But I softened butter first, and then you sprinkle the cinnamon and the sugar. But since we're using these amazing Bakersfield products, it made it more interesting. So, it's a twist. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do like a flavored butter. Yeah, flavored butter. Going to mix together softened butter and then, oh, I forgot. Okay, we're mixing these two things together uh, the fudget caramel flavor and our creme d'or custard mix. Um, the fudget caramel flavor is good as it is. Um, aside from caramel, it comes in chocolate and yema. But for this particular recipe, I think the caramel um, is the pinakabagay with our chocolate, uh, chocolate rolls. So we're going to use this. And then, um, the reason why we're putting creme d'or is because um, the fudget can be a bit... Uh, it will spread too much when heat is applied. So we add a little bit of a creme d'or to make it thicker so that when it goes to the oven, when we bake it in the oven, it will not spread. Hindi masyadong, um, it will still be gooey but not uh, runny. So yun. so this is our insurance that um, hindi magiging runny filling ng cinnamon, ng ating rolls. I keep on saying cinnamon since it is a cinnamon roll without the cinnamon, right? So here, so it's butter. So we'll cream the butter together, mix 
sip. Then we add in our caramel fudge it. Of course, if you have a mixer, use your mixer. If you have a hand mixer, go ahead. Konti lang naman to. Kaya ko na itong kamayan. So, I'll just use. I'll just mix it by hand. Anyway, everything is room temperature. You know what the smell of the caramel fudge? It reminds me of cotton candy. Parang sarap yung acid, acid. I on its own, parang masarap na siya. Parang caramel candy in taste. So, yeah. Okay. Then of course we're going to add our creme No need to put it on heat. Um, you just mix it with the uh, with any liquid ingredient and it's going to thicken. You can even mix this with ano, milk and then when you put it in the mixer or when you mix it um, for quite some time, it's going to thicken. So, meron ka ng parang filling pwede pong donut, pwede pong cake. So, we're mixing them together. And yeah. See how simple. What I'm making now, you can yun have pwede rin palaman sa kung saan saan. Pwede rin topping ng ensenada, pwede rin topping ng diba? filling ng yung mga pandesal, pwede rin. So, yeah, so we're done with the filling. See how fast. Wala pang 5 minutes. So this can be a little sweet. Kasi caramel and then um, if you don't want, so we're, going, so we're, going, we're going to offset the sweetness with a bit of Bakersfield chocolate. So this is the original bar, the big one, and we just chopped them to pieces. So yeah, so ang gagawin natin is we're going to uh, spread this on the dough when it's ready. We're going to roll it out. You'll see later. We'll spread it on the dough and then we'll sprinkle with chocolate. Now if you want to put nuts, pwede rin. It's just that a lot of children kasi are allergic to nuts. So I stay away from it. Um, especially my daughter, she's allergic to all kinds of nuts. So, yeah. So, natuto akong hindi kumamit ng nuts para to be sure. Okay? Then this time, we're going to use the milk chocolate here. This is how it looks like. It's Bakersfield milk chocolate. It's a one kilo pack. So, we... Ayan. So, we chopped it off. I mean, we chopped them to pieces. This is part two of our recipe. One hour and 30 minutes has passed and this is how it looks like. It grew double. Yeah, it's really impressive. It's fillers here inside. Okay, so it's time to roll it out. Oops. Okay, so we're ready to roll it out. So stop. And the off. Look how nice the color is, so it's not like brown. It still looks chocolate brown even if we added flour na and so many things with it. <laughs> so we go out the rectangle. You know that your dough is correct, it has risen enough if flexible, meaning it's easy for you to roll it out. You don't need to exert so much effort. Yung ganyan lang, light lang, kung saan na siyang kasi stretch na ganyan. Then make sure that you have enough flour on your table so it won't stick. Try to make your tango as perfect as possible. Meaning even the sides. This one's not acceptable, so we stretch it a bit. Okay, then it's time to spread the mixture we made earlier, our stage two. So this is the fudge and the creme d'or together in the butter. So it's caramel flavored fudge with butter. We used salted butter today. 
heavy door to thicken the mixture and content to make it more big, big stable. Okay, so we use a butter. chocolate, tapos may hit pa of coffee. Then, we sprinkle our Bakersfield milk chocolate. Okay. Sprinkle this generously. You can use the other chocolate products of Bakersfield. I think they have scuba tour. They have um, different flavored compound. You can use white chocolate, dark, daming kind, semi sweet yata meron din. Then we roll it now. Make sure that your knife is sharp. If not, your, your dough will have how do you say, parang punit -punit, going, to, going to tear. Or the filling might ooze out if you exert so much pressure in slicing. So this is something you can sell. Um, since anyway, buso naman yata ang cinnamon roll ngayon. Uh, wala pa masyadong gumagawa ng chocolate cinnamon roll. Usually kasi ang flavor ngayon na uso is ube and cheese and stuff like that. So, pwede kayo magpauso. Pwede yung... You can use another flavor of um, the fudge. You can use yema inside the cinnamon... I mean, inside these rolls if you want to be different. So, it can be a good selling point. Or you can also just do this as yes and put it in a loaf pan. So you can sell it as a loaf also instead of rolls like this. So madaming pwedeng gawin sa recipe na to. It's just, uh, you just have to change a bit of the flavor or the shape and you have an entirely different product. You can also put this in individual muffin pans. Instead of all together in one big rectangular pan like this, you can also put them in the holes of a cupcake tin. Shape smaller dapat yung rolls. If you want to sell them individually and not like a, as a hole like this, you can use those. You can also use the pans for ensemada, the individual tins like that, pwede rin. Yun. So whatever you have at home, you can use. Uh, 15. Uh, rounds for this recipe. Okay. So I will make this rice again for an hour and 30 minutes. Um, maybe on the last 30 minutes, you can start preheating your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Right. 
Okay, for the third part, um, we're going to make the glaze. This is important na it's already made before your chocolate rolls come out from the oven. Kailangan gawa na to because you have to apply this while your baked rolls are still warm. Para lang talaga makukote niya yung each roll. If you put it kasi na cold na yung rolls, parang it's just going to be sticky and it won't really melt on top of your rolls. So yun. So while we're waiting, we're waiting for it to rise. We already preheated the oven. Check. And then now we're going to do our glaze. Okay? For this particular part, we'll be using the Baker's Field but natural butter flavor with it. So instead of using real butter, we'll be using this. Natural butter with it. I'm going to put it in. If you don't feel like putting cream cheese, pwede naman wala ng cream cheese. No? Um, you just use straight out um, natural butter flavored with it um, in the recipe. But, kasi ang, um, cin ang cinnamon rolls na traditional, it's really paired with cream cheese frosting. So that's what we're doing now. Even if it's not cinnamon, even if it's chocolate, um, bagay pa rin yung cream cheese, di ba, na frosting. It, parang kinokontra niya yung richness of the, of your, your rolls. Um, so yun, so better if you still use the cream cheese uh, frosting. If not, then, you know, plain, ano na, plain whipping na lang siya. Okay, then we put in our uh, cream cheese. So any brand, of course, you'll do. Um, at this stage, if you want to flavor pa rin your glaze pwede, you can add, um, you can add fudge a little bit, or you can add, so any of the three flavors of fudge pwede. Um, you can also make use of the different flavors of flavoring. I would think mocha would be good, maybe banana, uh, vanilla, of course. Ano pa bang meron? Siyempre yung mga coconut, yung mga buko pandan hindi. Uh, mango depends, orange maybe. So it depends on your market and it depends on your taste, diba? But my highly recommended for this, what you can add is mocha and vanilla and banana. Yung okay. So we're going to put in now. So we're going to cream together the cream cheese and the butter, natural butter flavor with it. Then we add in our powdered sugar. And that is quite a little. If you feel if you want it to really be decadent, you can even add melted chocolate. So you can melt um, any of the baker's field chocolate. Um, either couverture or compound, you can melt and add it in here. If not, naman, pwede rin niya yung budget, pwede niya to add plus flavoring. Okay. Then, we stop the mixer, we scrape it first. Once we scrape it, kasi meron pang powdered sugar on the sides. I see the how creamy. This one lang but it's so tempting to just diba, put, put my fingers in and take my fingers at all. So aside from this being the glaze of um, a rose, you can also use this as icing for red velvet or carrot cake or banana cake. So anything, it can replace your cream cheese icing. Um, mas mura, syempre, kesa sa butter. You can put a little lemon pala. So I guess orange flavored, uh, orange flavored flavor it will also taste good with this. Yeah. Then to make it a bit fluffy, we're going to add a little milk. Skip first. Again, high speed. 
medyo medium high. But it's a bit thick na it's up to you whether you want to add more milk or not. In this case, because it was recommended that we add at least, I think, one-fourth cup of milk. But seeing the texture of this, parang I think enough na yung ano, four tablespoons pwede Come back later um, when the cinema, when the when the chocolate rolls are ready. Uh, we will show you after before baking it. So maybe 30 more minutes. Um, if you want it to rise a little bit more, you can still extend it for 30 more minutes. Because I said kanina one hour and 30 minutes, but medyo mainit today, so one hour I think is enough. Because the moids are ready together. If I make it rise some more, then it might overflow na from my baking pan. So I'll bake this now for 30 minutes in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so nice! Look! It looks marbled na... I don't know, I can't describe it. It's really nice. Um, this has been... This was baked for 25 minutes only because my oven is strong. But recommended is 30 minutes. Okay? So, as I said earlier, you need to put your glaze while your rolls are still hot or warm. So, I'm going to put the glaze now. Generously put on top. I can hear it when it's sizzle, no? Oh, I can hear it. I wish you could smell it. It's really good. It smells like chocolate and creamy. And it's perfect with coffee. I can eat it. I suggest that. Perfect with coffee and tea. And hot chocolate for your children. And generous. I'll put some more in the corner. And then maybe you can put, when you serve this, you can put na lang extra. We have a lot of extra. So you can put this in a bowl. And then we put a little cocoa powder. So nice. Okay. Our favorite part. First, I always get the corn. It's a cake corner. Let's bring the pot up, but I can't resist. I'm going to cut it in the middle to show you the. our recipe. If you have questions, you can comment below. And, of, of course, I want to thank Bakersfield um, for sending me these wonderful products. We used um, the Bakersfield Creme Dor today. Uh, the Bakersfield Natural Butter Flavor Whip It. The Fudget Caramel Flavor. Our Bakersfield flavor, flavor Raid Mocha Flavor and the Bakersfield Cocoa Powder Premium. Thank you so much, Bakersfield. I hope to see you guys again next time for more recipes with Bakersfield.